everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. Today we are going to be doing some stuff with these three. So Declan back there, Nash right there in the black, Lachlan right here. So by the title of the video we are going to be learning our ABCs. Now Declan knows more than these guys and um, Nash and Lachlan know a little bit um, when it comes to that. But I'm going to give you, I don't know how many ideas, I forgot, I didn't count, like 10, some creative ideas, five or six, how many do I have here? A lot, right? Um, ideas on how to teach ABCs. So this is just mainly like fun ideas, not... Um, uh, how do I say this? Okay, so I'm going to give you a bunch of ideas, like fun ideas to teach ABCs and um, little cheat things that they can put on the table and games and different things that you can play with to do ABCs. Um, so I have so many different things, so I'm going to try to hurry up and get this video done because um, we have a lot here. So I just want to be able to share this with you and hopefully this will help if you guys are teaching ABCs, just, just little extra stuff that you guys can tie in to your homeschool day. Um, or you can do stuff like this on one day and uh, some of their other stuff on another day. So I just wanna share this with you quick. Um, we are gonna start out with, I think, my chalkboard first. So a lot of you guys know that I got this chalkboard at Hobby Lobby, mm -hmm. and this is the reason why I wanted to get it is because I'm able to leave stuff like this up. So. We are gonna go over with National Lachlan and Declan and see if they know um, their letters. So hold on one second. Okay, so I think you guys can kind of see what I'm doing from here. So we're gonna just go over a little bit. We're not gonna do the whole thing. I just wanna give you guys just really quick ideas. All right, so Nash, what is this one? Nash. Nash. Do you remember last year? Was it last year that you didn't know F and we kept coming back to it? Was it F or G? Whatever, I think it was F. Okay, Nash, one more and then we're done with this. It's just an example, so. What is this? Kill. You. Those. You. Like this. Okay. Those, this I couldn't So, that's, that's one way um, for ABCs. Now, I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer so you can kind of see this idea. Um, this one I got through like Amazon. Um, and if I remember, I will link it down below, but I will bring it close so you guys can see. So we're gonna have Nash do one quick. All right, so what one are you gonna work on, Nash? What letter do you wanna do? What letter is that? S. No, you just said it before. N. N for Nash. So it has all the letters on here, and then they just use these wooden pieces to make their name. So you're going to do two purple ones. And do two, two purple. So you do one, yep, do one purple here and one purple there. There, all right. So Declan, what one are you gonna do? What, which one do you wanna pick? Okay. D for and Declan. D for Declan, okay, so here. Green. I think you used two greens. Oh, two greens. Yep. Oh, that's two. Two. 
to orange. And a blue. There. D for Declan. All right. Okay, what are you going to do, Lachlan? Okay, so he's going to do L for Lachlan. There you go. So L for Lachlan. Another basic idea for teaching ABCs is just having a... a placemat that you can just put in front of them and then they can look at the uppercase and the lowercase letters um, so they can follow along with us too or if they're having problems writing their letters they can keep this next to them and they can write their letters so we made this like probably when Gage and Eli were really little so Gage is in high school now so this was a long time ago so that's a quick quick example um, another really fast example is this. So these I got at the dollar store and I put these around the table for the kids to be able to follow. Yeah. Yep. Declan has one over here, but Declan has a numbers oh. one and he's going to need a new one soon. So I think if you could maybe put some um, contact paper on top of it so that it doesn't get wet and it'll last a little bit longer. But this is a, another quick one. We also have a cursive one and then we have numbers and I think that's it. So um, this is another quick way of teaching them ABCs. Okay, um, here, here's another way. Maybe Nash can help me with this. You wanna open that for me? So with these cards, you have to match the um, lowercase and big case. Yep, the lowercase and the big case together. So I know there's so many. Oh yeah, Nash, you're gonna use that for an example. Okay. Let's see if we can find some quick. Okay, we got E. I found that also not a good wall. It's white by it. Oh, yeah. So then it comes with like a picture. So they have to match the picture also. Okay, so we have N for noodles. Lachlan found. Oh, you gotta match the picture. How do you match the picture? Yeah, there we go. Lachlan matched the picture. I'm gonna find that. I don't eight. The other A? Okay, let's find the letter A and then we're going to be done with this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking. I found a little piece of the wagon. Found the wagon? Let's find the wagon. Okay, Lachlan found the wagon. I need to find the goat. Look, I don't piece of the okay. goat. Okay, put See. it together. What is that? That's a lamb. It's a lamb. L for lamb. Okay, all right. Okay, so we are gonna play bingo really quick and this also teaches them their ABCs. Um, turn your card around, Declan, you have it upside down. Okay, so I'm gonna hold up one of these cards and they have to see if they have one. Does anybody have an H? Okay, does anybody have a W? Okay, put one of your things on it. Does anybody have a K? I'm going to look around. Oh, yes. Nope. I don't. Does anybody have a Z? Me. Oh, you got to put your thing on it. G. Uh, I don't know. No. No. Oh, I, I do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Does anybody have an L? Me. Okay. Does anybody have a P? No. Okay. I found okay. Declan has bingo. I do? Yeah, you got oh, a bingo. Four in a row. All right, so let's clean this one up. Okay, for this activity, um, this, I had this on, I think my last year's, uh, 
video to on one of my videos. This is from themeasuredmom.com. So if you guys want something like this, she has um, these worksheets. And then I don't remember which one this one is. It's the same thing, but it, it they're not circled. So this is makes it a little bit harder when they're not circled. Activity that they can work on. And then, um, and then let's see one. So I thought I had another one in here. Is that, so D is for dinosaur. And then we, I would read this to them and then they would have to circle all the D's in here. So there are three different activities on paper that they can work on. But for today, we're just gonna work on this. And this one is confessions of a homeschool mom, schooler.com. Um, I will leave a link for all of these down below if you guys are interested in printing some of this stuff off. So now you guys can go ahead and dot them. So each kid has a different letter. So Declan has M, Lachlan has L, I mean what? Nash has L, and uh, Lachlan has K. Why is it working? You gotta keep doing it. Nope. You just go gentle like this okay okay and you don't need to fill in the whole circle just do a dot on it and move on okay just do a dot and then bind all of your letters and if you want to work on one letter a week you can do that also so if i wanted to work on l all week then that's we would do a l activities Nine. You did all yours? You got them all? I think I did. Okay, so that is another example of doing the alphabet. Um, here, why don't you just do this quick? D is for dinosaur. Dante and Debbie big dig all day deep in the dirt. They are digging for dinosaur bones. Can you just do a little dot on all the Ds? I'm gonna begin. Mm hmm. Yep. Just do one little dot on all of these. But yeah, I think we're just doing. Well, you can do the little D's too. I tap them with little A's. Right here. No, this is a little A right there. I tap the little B's. Oh, no, B. No, that's a B. Uh -huh. See, it's the opposite direction. So don't keep. You can't keep marking it because. This is a D. That's a B. That faces that way. So D. Yeah. Okay, where's some other Ds? Okay, what about some more? Okay, I see one more. There. Because this is a B. That's the other way. So that doesn't go. All right. So there. That's another example. Okay, so for the next one we are going to be doing this one. And I've mentioned this in one of my other videos too from last year. And this is um, learning the alphabet this way. So what I did is I found another print off. This one is um, worksheetfun.com and I'll also leave that down below. So they need to match all the lowercase letters to, are you matching the lowercase letters to the big ones? So if you want, if they want to make it harder, they can do what Nash is doing, where they can put the lowercase letters with the uh, bigger letters, and then like Lachlan over here could do um, the uppercase with the lower, if they want to make it harder to um, to learn. Otherwise, you are able to do this so match the lowercase to the lowercase um and this one i ended up printing other activities in the same um from the same person she has all different things on her site like animals and um kind of hide and seek kind of stuff on her site so i printed off this because i really like this and this is something that i can just pull out quick and they can work on it so um nash where do you think a is for the upper a Yep, that's V. Um, Lachlan, why don't you start matching some? Declan, do you want to come over and yes. help Lachlan maybe? 
Hah? Yap. Ting. Okay, so that would be a D, Nash. So where is D on here? What do you think D is on here? A, B, C, D. Where's D? A, B, C, D. D. Okay. Yep, and you got D also. So where do you think D goes over here, Lachlan? A, B, C, D. Good. So you put that there. Um, Declan, you can grab any of the uppercase and put it on the lowercase. No, 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 they, these are his. Oh, okay. These are the lower and these okay. are the upper. So you're going to do the uppercase on the lower ones. Remember when you were talking about that, you needed to know the difference? Yeah. This is really hard. G, you want to know where G is? It's right here. I know, sometimes they look different, don't they? B. But that's why you need to learn both. Wait, no, one. Yep. Oh, yeah, that would go. See, B would go there. See how B fits right into B? They look the same if if this one had another bump on top. Big case. The uppercase R. This is really hard. Uh, not to me. There you they go. just need to find the letter. Then put it on. All right, so the next activity that we're going to do, I found these at walmart i went to walmart the other day and i wanted to get something quick that has to do with the abcs and i ended up coming across these i probably have more abc or alphabet letters in my other stamping stuff but i thought this would be easy enough for them to just have the, the whole alphabet right here and not be jumbled up in something else so they're gonna have fun with this and see what letters that you guys can um do so just Oh yeah, let's you do that. Do yep, put it on there. Oh. oh, you could do different colors. Yep, come on. I'm gonna do it. This is my thing. Yeah. A. Yeah, you only need to put a little bit on, Nash. So there's an the X. X. There's an X. And I need to do it different. Okay, there we go. Now we need to do. Uh, mm -hmm. Where's B? What should I do? Oh, those B. There, okay. Mm-hmm. So, Lachlan, you're going to want to grab letters, not... I'm going to do A. You can do Look A. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at A, Declan. A, B. Oh, thank Declan, you. Can you pass C. B. I need C. I need B. I put blue on there, okay? It's I'm okay. I'm going to put yellow. It's okay. Okay. Is that little? Okay. So Declan's going to go in order. Baby. What color should I do for this? So Ooh, B yellow. will go this way. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. All you have to do is just See? pick up a letter and put it on your paper. That's all. Uh oh, so you do it this way. Because you want to do it in order? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Purple. So what's after that? Oh, yeah. A, D. B, C, D. D. So I'm going to do orange for the year. Okay. Yeah, you're doing them upside down, though. What? Yep, that's how C goes. I'm doing it backwards. Remember, all letters go that way. Most of the letters, they go that way, okay? Yeah. So pay attention when you're putting it down on the paper, what direction it goes. Am I doing white? Am I doing yep. white? Mm-hmm. You need C? Right here. Oh, okay. Hmm? okay. Is that I'm together? Do it double. No, it's connected. Oh. I'm going to do it double. <sighs> double. Come on. Like mine? Mm-hmm. Do they go this? A, B, C, D. Can I just tap it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Nash and Lachlan are in kindergarten, and Declan, Declan is in second, second grade, grade, so he knows a little bit more than they do. I think we can... 
This is the um, activity that they've been kind of waiting for. So usually I have a bean bin for other things and I will do more, uh, or I'll probably do a video just on a bean bin video um, for something and I won't tell you what it is, but I thought this would be a good um, thing to add on for ABCs and teaching them how to do the alphabet. So I have some things hidden in here and they need to find it and they need to tell me what it is. Okay, so they're all the way on the bottom. So you guys dive in there. And see what you can. All right. So, what letters did you guys find? I found X. What what letter is this? I found X. Yeah. What letter is this? That's a Y. Y. Okay. What letter is you yours? Z. Z. And which letter is yours? What letter is yours? X. Okay. So put put that down now. Not in the not back in the thing. Okay. What letter is that? A? N. N. I found A. Okay, what? Oh, you're going too fast for me. What letter is it? Show me, I can't see it. Mm -hmm. C. Okay, put that down. A. And Declan found an A. What letter did you find? You gotta turn it. What letter is that? If you were looking at it like this, what letter would that be? Um, D. 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 Okay, what letter do you have? R. Oh, I got one. I got one. Okay. What letter is that? Uh, done to me. G. G. Mm -hmm. What letter is that? That one is an O. That's just how they made it. Okay. I found. Ooh, that was the one that we talked about. S. Good. Who's this? That one I looks found. like. Wait, we're going to talk to Lachlan first. G? No, that's a E. Can you show me what this one is? I found a um, uh, A. If you look at it like this, what is it? M. M. Okay. And that's a, a H. H. Oh, you know what? This one right here is an I. And that one that Lachlan had was an H. B. That's a B. Letter, do you have? I made a, I had, I have a Q. Can you show it to me? Wait. Okay. All right. So what one? You have an L. Yeah. It's in my name. Yeah? Is that it? I think Is that all the letters? I think that's No, we didn't find more. I think. Okay, so you could put any kind of letter, other letters or anything in here. I wanted to kind of keep it simple for right now um, for that. I wanted to keep it simple for them because I didn't want all different letters in there and different colors in there to not have them focused. So that's why I only put um, just the one type in there. But you can add any other letters, so you can do numbers and letters together inside there and do stuff like that. So you could do a word find if you can find um, things that have words on it and put them in there and they can find that also. So hopefully you guys like today's video and that gives you some fun ideas for your kids to teach the ABCs and do fun stuff instead of them thinking that they're um, doing hard work or they don't want to learn something and this way they don't really realize that they're learning but they can have fun with it also. So that was just a couple ideas that I'm going to be tying in with this year and then um, I'll have Evelyn play with this stuff too because this is like the fun stuff that I can just bring out whenever and this also will help me with like Evelyn um, when she, when I need to teach the other kids, I can pull this stuff out too. So she'll get used to doing, um, a lot of this activities too. 
Hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to um, subscribe so you guys don't miss out on other homeschool videos that I will be doing this year. Um, what else can I share with you guys? If you guys have any comments or if you guys have any other ideas that you guys want me to share with you, some other things that maybe I'm maybe missing in my homeschool year that you guys know that I could tie to my homeschool year or things that you want to see. So other than that, guys, see you in the next one.